If you've spent as much time on the internet as I have since you were a kid, then you've probably found yourself in an online community. However, a lot of people have not found themselves into a creator online community. And what I mean by that is not just people doing YouTube videos and things like that, but I mean musicians, comic book creators, novel writers, and so on. So basically, this video is from a lot of my personal experiences and things that I've seen over the years, and honestly, things that I am tired of seeing so if you guys want to stick around for this video and you like what I have to say uh, I am gonna be calling out the problems that I have seen over the years when it comes to online creative communities so do me a favor if you like this video and well like this video subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell so without any further ado the first thing that we're gonna get into is the thing that I like to call the circle jerk and you go oh boy well, yes, oh boy. The Circle Jerk is something where basically a bunch of small creators in any, again, on any one of the creative uh, processes comes together and they say, all of us are gonna follow each other, all of us are gonna like each other's videos and we're all gonna repost our stuff and it's gonna get us big, right? And that's how we're gonna get noticed, right? We're gonna band together and the merry old band of Robin Hood's men are gonna rise to the challenge and it doesn't work. Generally, what happens is usually some DM groups are going to be formed or some private groups are going to be formed and so on and so forth. And usually what happens from these circle jerk groups is, again, these smaller creators get together and for about a week, everybody wants to share and repost. And at that point, somebody in the group will start to realize, wow, this isn't actually growing my audience. This isn't actually showing anything more. And the other thing that you start to realize is that a lot of people in these creative groups don't actually buy, purchase... Uh, check out, share, or listen to what you're doing. Like they just don't. All they do is they repost. And by share, when I say share, I mean physically take that thing to somebody in real life and say, this is really cool. I really liked it. Check it out. So again, one of the biggest issues with starting these uh, communities like this is that it's gen it, it started with an altruistic goal, but very rapidly falls apart because the whole intention of starting these circle jerk groups is to grow yourself, grow your audience and and get yourself out there. And to be perfectly honest, I've seen many of them. I've been in many of them and I would say this, most of them don't work. None of them that I've ever been in work. So if you guys have been in one that works, let me know. The next one that comes up is the we must accept everyone who feels the same way we do. Absolutely not. That will kill a community more quickly than anything. Somebody who agrees with 5% of something that you agree with does not need to be let in. You are going and starting your own community because you say, I have this certain set of values that I'm looking for amongst a community, and I would like to talk with people who believe this. A lot of times communities will start and they'll say, well, we don't really want to ban a bunch of people because we don't want to be like the other guy. But the problem with this is that then they let in bad actors and bad people or just people who are uh, uh, the types that agree with them, but who have bad attitudes about going about everything, right? And those people should definitely not be let into communities and people who don't agree with you should not be let into your communities. That one's a little bit easier to get by. The third thing I wanna talk about tonight is Something that has been uh, uh, eviscerating the internet since the internet was the internet, and that is the cult of personality. And if you guys are in my community, which is my Gilded community over on uh, Gilded, you can find that link below. And if you guys like what I'm doing here and you guys want to talk with a bunch of authors, comic book creators, tabletop RPG creators, musicians, and meme lords, uh, you guys can join my Gilded community. I will check your application for it and hopefully let you in. But if you guys are in my community and you hear Cult of Personality and you don't immediately sing in like your most metal voice, the Cult of Personality. If you guys don't sing it, you're just you're done. I'm gonna ban hammer you just straight up. Anyway, the Cult of Personality. What am I talking about here? Basically, in the modern day, you have a lot of channels out there that are growing around personalities. Okay, the personality is king in today's world. You've got YouTube. You've got Twitter, you've got so many different places, different platforms. TikTok is a big one. I always forget that one because I'm not on it. 
And what happens is you get communities that form around people. Now, anytime that these people tend to have a minor spat with somebody else online, as all of us do, all of a sudden the cult of personality disease kicks in and it is my savior against your savior. And the crazy part is, is oftentimes you'll see this in communities that agree with each other like 90% of the time but simply because the cults of the person you know the cult of personalities traded words with each other it's time now for everybody to throw up the dividing lines tear each other apart and ultimately rip apart the ultimate goal which usually these creators both see in mind right this is one of the things that is the absolute detriment to online communities. And it, it really scares a lot of people away because they go, oh, wow, well, I really like this guy. Maybe I'll like this guy. And then they see, they try to go over to the other guy and then they see his followers just bad mouthing the original person they liked. And they go, you know what? I'm out. You guys are obviously a bunch of a-holes and I want nothing to do with you. The cult of personality mindset that people have around online communities is absolutely crazy corrosive to building an overall future culture and a lot of people don't seem to want to talk about it and a lot of people are going out there throwing shade don't want to talk about themselves being that guy but guess what a lot of people are that person and you have to recognize when the idea of the person that you're following transcends your own ideals and you start to yell at people and you have literally betrayed yourself in that situation and a lot of people don't want to do that the other thing that happens in online communities a lot, especially amongst people who've been around communities for a long time, they start to project themselves onto the personality that they're following, going back to online communities that are usually centered around an individual personality. These people generally start to say, well, this person, you know, I really feel that they need to start doing this. They try to reach out to the personality. They try to talk to them. I've seen this. I've seen the tweets on Twitter. It's like, hey, dude, notice this. Like, did you know that you're doing that? You really shouldn't talk like this. You really shouldn't do this thing. You really shouldn't. And what they do is they project themselves onto another person, which don't get me wrong. All of us are human beings, but all of us are different. And all of us have a different way of handling our own personalities. When you as a community member start to project yourself onto somebody else and inject your ideals or your way of living life onto somebody else, right? Whether it be in the community or the community uh, leader, so to speak, I, I, will, I guess the community focus, such as the personality, what you're really doing is you're actually stripping away that person that kind of gathered the community to begin with and putting yourself in their place and saying, well, I know how to do it better even though I jumped on board because of your personality. I've seen this time and time again. I've seen it so many times over the last like 10 years of me really trying to get into various different communities. And it is something that uh, you will eventually start to see the people who started the community the, the uh, or, or people who are the mods of the community, they'll start to distance themselves and eventually that person who is trying to impose themselves onto somebody else or they're trying to project their, their, their thoughts and their philosophies, uh, uh, no matter how subtly they are onto that person, you'll start to see those people uh, get banned because essentially what they're doing is they're trying to move the community in an unnatural way. The other thing that communities need to be aware of is uh, creative people forget to uh, search for customers beyond the online community. So many people out there uh, do not realize that if you actually are writing a book or creating a comic or making an album, right? You're, you're writing music. Uh, you actually have to go out. You've got to go to cons. You've got to go to, you know, book signings. You've got to go to events. You have to go to these places. You've got to go to shows. You know, very few people out there have the luxury of just being able to do it online and pull it off. What makes what makes you be able to sell is the connections that you can make in real life, whether it's a hi, hello, how are you? Look at this cool art on my book. Oh, you like it? Sweet. And you sell your book there. So many people are so reliant about only being online because it is hyperly easy to do, but the easiest path is not necessarily the best path. And 
moving forward, people really need to think about not just talking to people on Twitter, not just talking to people in their DM group, not just talking to people on YouTube, but actually going out and experiencing the world. In fact, some of the smaller indie creators, whether they are musicians or they're comic book creators or they're novel writers that I've met have had the most success when they actually go out all the time and they hit the ground running while they're creating the thing that they're creating and they talk with people in the real world as well as talk with people online. It's a multifaceted sense of marketing. In addition to that, they can't really stop creating either. It takes a drive that not everyone has and we can touch on that in a later video. The last thing that I am going to mention, and this is a hot topic of the week everywhere. Small creators asking for handouts from larger creators. Okay, now this can happen in many, many, many different ways. This can happen from people, and it's happened to me, people have reached out to me and said, hey, you should totally do this on your show, you should totally do that, this is the great top, you know, you should do this, you should do that, you should have me on to talk about this thing. And the fact of the matter is, is a lot of the times when you're doing that, you're not necessarily a part of that person's brand. The thing that they are trying to sell is does not necessarily include you. Maybe you're the type of personality that doesn't fit in with their brand. You might be cool buddies and you might be great friends with each other, but that doesn't equate to you being able to use their time off of the success that they're gaining, right? There is something to be said there. In addition to that, there are a lot of larger creators out there that are seeing success and people saying that they are owed success they are owed promotion from those people or they're asking for promotion from those people instead of earning it and people say what do you mean by earning promotion i mean that you basically go out and you do your thing you do your thing to the best of your ability and then people start to notice you and then people go and they ask you they ask you to go on their shows. They ask you to come to their cons. They ask you to share a table with them. I had people reach out to me a while ago saying, hey, you should reach out to this other person and ask to be on their show. And I said, absolutely not. I won't do it. I will not ever ask to be on someone's show. If I am doing what I am doing and I do it well enough, others will ask me. And that's how I know I have earned my right to their promotion. So ladies and gentlemen, let me know if you guys have had any other issues in online communities. Uh, let me know if you guys disagree with me, which I'm sure that a lot of people do, especially on that last point, because I highly disagree with it. And again, as always, if you guys comment down below, I do a live stream every Sunday, save for this one, we are uh, going to be wrapping up our holiday season, but I do do a live stream uh, on Sundays called Sunday Coffee. And the next Sunday Coffee that I do, I will be reading your comments, right? Because that's why I ask you guys to comment. If I'm going to ask you to comment, I go on a live stream and I read all of them and I make sure that you guys know my full thoughts. Sometimes you guys piss me off. Sometimes you guys don't. Sometimes you guys make me laugh. Sometimes you guys pop into the chat just to make fun of me. And those ones are funny. But ladies and gentlemen, as always, I appreciate all of you being here. And until next time, cheers, everybody. Thank you all so much for checking out this video. And I would ask, beg, borrow, and steal just to get you guys to click the links down in the description below to join my Gilded server and my drinkwithcrazy.locals.com. Oh, and by the way, just in case you guys didn't know, I'm also over on Rumble as well, so click that link while you're down there. See you next time.